what you'll need to do first of all is set your mobile device in, into debugging mode and to do this basically go into your settings that's your menu button using your menu button here bring up menu and just touch the settings button there once you've done that go into applications as you can see there on the screen applications once you're in the applications just uh, scroll down if you have to to development mode at the moment you can't see anything there no development mode so just scroll down there's your development mode there once you're into development mode make sure you've got USB debugging which is that debug mode when USB is connected checked which I have got checked there and stay awake screen will never sleep while charging make sure you check that as well and allow mock locations check that as well just to be on the safe side USB debugging is the most important if you don't set that you won't be you will not be able to install uh, flash your phone with the boot up screens so once you've done that just jump out of there okay now connect your mobile device up to the PC via the USB cable when you connect your mobile device via the USB cable you should see USB connected at the top USB debugging connected at the top of your mobile device now if we scroll down from the top what we'll see on the mobile device is USB connected select to copy files to and from your computer USB debugging connected what you'll need to do first of all is from the YouTube video you'll have to download the adb.exe file this is a self-extracting executable file which you'll need to install your boot screens onto your mobile device whether it's a mobile phone or a touch tablet Android touch tablet so once you've downloaded it which I've done so here on, on my desktop just click on that file what we have is a dialog box with GPL licensing general public license you can find out, out about GPL off the web if you need to know more about it but I would accept what's there and basically just install in your destination folder this is by default it's your root directory so install that once it's installed what we need to do is run Explorer when we run Windows Explorer all you need to do in your root directory which is your C drive wherever you may have installed it find the ADB folder once you find the ADB folder you can see what you've got you've got an ADB XE file ADB Linux ADB Mac if you and ADB WinAPI.dll these files you don't need to worry about because you won't be messing with those files as such what you will need to know is these are your flash boot screens australia.zip batarang silver.zip every zip file that's there batzip uh, batspin gold.zip all these zip files here are the boot screen that we'll be installing on, onto the mobile device the next thing you need to do here just minimize that next thing you'll need to do here is go to your command prompt and run your command prompt here's my command prompt okay that seems fine <coughs> what we'll do now here is get back to our root directory clear screen now I'm just going to type in some commands to get into the folder that we, we should be working from which is our ADB folder C colon ADB so let's get into 
IADB folder, CD, <coughs> ADB. Now that we're into our ADB folder, what we need to do <coughs> is type in the command that will install the boot screen from this ADB folder. I'm just going to bring the ADB folder up so we can see the file that we want to install first. I'm going to install Let's choose england.zip. So this is the command that you will need to type adb space push space england.zip england.zip That's the file we're installing onto our mobile device. We've already got our mobile device connected via the USB cable and its debugging mode has been set so it's england.zip onto our data slash local <coughs> slash boot animation dot zip what we're doing here is taking the england.zip file and we renaming it as we're installing it what we're doing is we're renaming it to boot animation zip and it's being installed at data slash local directory as boot animation zip which is the default name used by android mobile devices for boot animations once we've got that that command into there just press enter And it should say Daemon not running, starting it now. Daemon started successfully. Number of bytes transferred 0 0.220 seconds. Now, here we should have installed the england.zip file on here. You may or may not, depending on the type of Android phone you got, you may or may not get feedback as it's being copied onto your mobile device on mine I don't have any feedback anywhere and just to prove that to you you've still got that USB debugging connected and I haven't had any feedback of being copying the file across onto my mobile device but the best way to find this out now is I'm gonna turn my phone off power off Actually, I've restarted the phone. That should still work. Power off or restart the phone, and it should be a new boot screen. It's just rebooting. And here's our new England boot screen on the mobile device. There we go. Just going to quickly go through all the other boot screens that we have on the mobile device. Right, let's go through these one by one and see what the installations are like. So we'll try the same command again, but a different file name. USA.zip. Transfer it to the mobile device. What it does when you do this is it replaces the old boot animation.zip file with the new one which is your USA as it's being renamed to bootanimation.zip and it overwrites the old 
older file. So if you do want to back up your old file, the command would be adb pull boot animation dot zip uh, slash data slash local slash boot animation dot zip to your C drive or your D G drive on your PC. You would have to put that in just to back it up onto your PC if you want to back up your old boot animation. But I I would I don't do that because. I prefer newer my own boot animation okay so let's move on to the mobile device just restarting the phone here and we should have our USA boot animation screen so just rebooting Restarting does take a bit of time because you're shutting down the, all the applications that are running in Android, then boot it back up. But if you turn it up on, turn your phone on from scratch, it will be a lot quicker than this. Here's the boot screen. That's our USA.zip file boot screen. They're all uh, some of these uh, country zip files are football themed as it's coming up to the Euro 2012 and the America's Cup 2012 Asia Cup 2012 This is the London 2012 Olympic Games boot screen, boot animation. It's a bit more clearer. You may not see that clearly on the video. These animations are a lot clearer on the mobile device than on this video. The boot animations are for 320 by 480 pixel screens. One thing you will notice is these are made for smaller screens but they do work on larger screens as well. So click on the download link in the info section, download it from the YouTube, your own copy of the animations and basically enjoy. Keep a lookout for other updates to boot animations and possibly even a startup splash screen and shutdown screen animations as well. Download your free copy from YouTube.
here I'm about to power off the mobile phone. Power off. It's powering off now. So power down. About to reboot it. It's power power down. It's on battery charge, but that's going to happen by default. Reboot that file. Should come up with the boot screen, boot VV, VB boot screen. There we go. Boot VB boot screen. Works both for restarts and power off. You should get your boot screens every time you restart or every time you power off your phone and power it back on.